good afternoon because it's already 12 30. this morning went by so quickly because i was finishing up some work and editing a video so that always kind of eats up a lot of time but it's no worries i was able to do that and i actually sat right here on this bench because the sun was just shining in directly and it felt so nice because it actually is chilly today in florida hence the turtleneck and the beanie the beanie, wait, the beanie and the turtleneck. I did that opposite. Um, so it's great. And I actually was having some trouble with my hair this morning. So I'm very thankful I can wear this beanie so I don't even have to deal with it. So that's good. And I'm about to make us some lunch because like I said, it's 1230. I'm hungry, but it is kind of slim pickings in our pantry and our fridge because I need to go grocery shopping. So it's another thing on the agenda for later this afternoon, but I think we have a can of lentil soup, so probably heat that up and see what else I can find in there. But before we go about our day, I wanted to share this little reminder that I posted on Instagram a while ago, but I kind of forgot about it. And then I was just scrolling through some screenshots and I found it and wanted to share. So it says, this is from a devotional I did on the Bible app, which I'll link the devotional in the description. I'm blanking on the name but i'll find it and link it for you but it says if i am able to build a whole beautiful life out of the smallest of moments then the regular days count the most and then i wrote i absolutely love this truth we are called to approach each day with an open and hopeful heart leaving anxiousness behind and trusting that god will help us create something beautiful and i actually just really needed this reminder for myself this morning because I don't know just with life and the new year anxieties can you know flood our mind and our hearts so i feel like just focusing on that is and just reminding yourself of that is just really important so of course i wanted to share it with you all as well but i'm excited to spend the day together and make it a good one is today's lunch it is just a little hodgepodge of things we had in our fridge and pantry so we got some carrots and celery some lentil soup that came from the can it's Amy's organic we really like her soups and then we have just two little pieces of bread well one for each of us and I put hummus and mustard and banana peppers and some red pepper flakes and ground pepper sound delish sounds delish also, check out his new shorts. Okay, well, first of all, he's wearing some of my fuzzy oh, socks. Because it's, <laughs> it's cold. It's but freezing in here. Secondly, look at those nice shorts I got him that you didn't want, but now you love them. <laughs> I just love them because you love them. Okay. <laughs> I think you love them regardless. <laughs> super yummy I really liked the piece of toast with the hummus and banana peppers I just I honestly just love banana peppers and it was really easy to make so might be recreating that lunch again soon but I wanted to show you some house updates that's just a re recurring theme in every vlog now that we're doing stuff over the weekends and just on the days that I'm not vlogging I always want to keep you in the loop of what progress we make so the first little thing, this is just a little simple one, is this cute little rattan hook that be hung up for me. It's from Target, but unfortunately I don't think it's still available, but I'll link it in case they restock it. So it's super cute and also practical just to have by the back door. Also, I'm trying to repair my little cactus that fell while we were moving. This little arm of the cactus is kind of weak and it keeps wanting to just kind of sink down so i'm just clipping it for now until it gets a bit stronger so side note but yeah i really like this hook because i can keep just some little totes right here and then my face masks and then some sunglasses for when i'm just popping out the door another kind of bigger update is that we added string lights to our backyard and i absolutely love these so much it's just so 
cozy, my favorite word. I love that kind of soft lighting and it just comes through in the windows from the backyard and it's just very dreamy and I can't wait to kind of add some more things to our backyard so we can really just make it our own little backyard oasis but I'll insert some pictures of what it looks like but really thankful and happy about that. My dad came to visit us and he actually helped us with that so that was fabulous but those are pretty much the house updates. I'm probably forgetting some but those are the two I can remember and now I actually want to work on meal planning and making my grocery lists and I also want to take down the ornaments on the Christmas tree because unfortunately I think the time has come it's time to say au revoir to Kinderly our Christmas tree but she still looks so beautiful and smells amazing so it's kind of kind of sad but it will feel nice and fresh to kind of have all of the Christmas decorations put away. put up this sign that was actually a wedding gift from one of our family members. It was above our door at our apartment and now it is above our door at our home. the best view in here and the best sunlight your office is pretty snazzy even though we need to add Whoa. some add some storage organization but I love having you home huh? I love having you home I love being home with you I made B some iced coffee and I made myself a little espresso with some frothed coconut milk and yeah that's all I put in it and it actually frothed pretty nicely it got super bubbly at the top which is fine but I definitely am still experimenting with my milk products so when I go grocery shopping today I'll probably see what options they have lots of people have recommended the barista advertised milk options I know there's a few non-dairy recommendations so we'll check it out see what we find but in the meantime, I before I go grocery shopping, I need to do a bit of meal planning and make my grocery list. And Brandon and I, we both kind of look at the grocery list and make sure that everyone has everything they need. So he likes to put stuff that he wants and then I add things that I want as well as any ingredients we need for our meals. So uh, first things first, I need to figure out what meals I even want to make. And I have a Google document of just meal ideas that I've made throughout the years that I really like that are just kind of my go-tos. And I can see if any of those sound good to make this week. And then I also oftentimes will just go through Pinterest. I have a Pinterest board that's called Love In My Tummy Healthy Edition that I often will refer to for just like little different recipes that are a bit more fun or exciting and not kind of in our normal recipe rotation. So that's what I'm gonna do now and make sure I have everything I need before we go on our little grocery shopping adventure. quite long so I'm sure it's gonna take me quite a while to kind of navigate the grocery store especially because I have never been to this Aldi and I haven't been to an Aldi in years so yeah it's gonna be an adventure but here let me show you how long it is and I've shared this before but we use Google Keep for our grocery list so that we can both edit it oh my goodness that is so long <laughs> that's what happens when you love cooking and I again I really do love cooking but it is it does take a lot of energy because first of all you have to shop for all of these things and a lot of the recipes that I'm drawn to just have like 10 plus ingredients at least so yeah 
I gotta prep for that, but I'm gonna head out soon. And what I'm making tonight is Cuban chicken and black bean quinoa bowls with fried chili, spiced bananas, and spicy mango, which sounds delicious. Brandon is gonna just drool over this. So I'm excited for that one. And then later this week, I also plan to film an Allison's Eats, finally. It's been a long time since I filmed one, but I am excited to get back on that and for that recipe, I plan to make a spicy pasta, a spicy veggie pasta, which it doesn't have to be super spicy, but how we make it is pretty spicy because I just put a chunk of red pepper flakes. And I also want to make crispy homemade baguettes. So with a little simple side salad. So that's the plan, could change, but that's what we're working with for now. Here we go, I just parked and I made sure to grab a quarter because I'm 99% sure you need a quarter in order to get a shopping cart. That's basically how they make sure people don't just leave the shopping carts in the parking lot. So glad I remembered this. dishwasher's running so if you hear that in the background that's why so okay I don't even know where to begin I really want to like Aldi and I think it's a great option but for me like you guys saw my grocery list it's super long and I have some kind of obscure ingredients I guess so I really was only able to get a few well I got a good amount of things I got two full bags of things so I was able to cross off about 15 things I don't know we can count it in a second once I do the haul but yeah that's my biggest problem is I can't find all of the ingredients I need for my recipes so I can't even make the recipe I wanted to make tonight so I'm just gonna order some Thai food which I'm kind of happy about because it sounds so good anyways um, and takeout just sounds nice because it's already it's already 4 30 this day has just been going by super fast and I'm kind of getting hungry for dinner already anyways so taking a night off of cooking sounds a bit appealing so small wins but yeah i just first of all i can't find everything i need and then secondly the produce not all of it seemed so fresh i even saw like mold and mildew on quite a few different fruits and vegetables so i think maybe the quality control isn't up to par as like trader joe's or Publix or any of those other grocery stores so that's another thing and i don't buy everything organic but for certain produce items i really try to do organic and i wasn't able to find that big of a selection it was just kind of like a little end aisle of organic produce so yeah those are my thoughts but again i think it's a great option and i really liked how relaxed it was it actually was very it wasn't too busy i did kind of go out an off time so that helps but recently whenever i've been going grocery shopping it's felt very like frantic and busy so i liked how it was kind of more calm and they do have some unique items and i was able to get like some quality stuff for a really great price so yeah there's pros and cons to every grocery store no matter what and i'm really excited to hopefully do most of our produce shopping at our local farmer's market, but this Saturday we just didn't make it to it. So hopefully this week, but let me show you everything I got. The first thing are the sea salt pita chips, which I'm really excited about because I haven't been able to find pita chips for the past two weeks. Every time I went grocery shopping, they were out of stock. So we finally have a restock of pita chips. And then I got some red onions, some baby spinach and arugula mix, which is organic. And I think I'm gonna make a salad to go along with our Thai food because I'll probably get some noodles. And then I got some organic celery and then two pineapples for my pineapple loving husband. And then we have a mango and a whole bag of lemons, a whole bag of limes, some garlic 
two cans of organic black beans, and then some apples, some mini avocados, and some pears. I haven't had pears in a really long time, and these are organic. I really don't know how to pick out pears, so hopefully this bag looks okay. And then some oranges and bananas. So I really was able to grab a great amount of items, and it was $35. I forget the change it was, but I remember it was $35 for everything, so overall pretty good, but I don't think I will really be going to Aldi that frequently just because I kind of like to be one and done when I go grocery shopping. I don't really like to go to multiple locations, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll try it again sometime soon, but that's the final verdict. dinner situation I got Thai takeout and I got pad Thai and then also some spicy basil noodles and I made this little salad for us and I'm gonna top it with this ginger dressing which is so so good delicious of course i just absolutely love pad thai and i actually made it two weeks ago at home i followed a half-baked harvest recipe and it was so yummy and actually quite easy to make so they always do it better at the thai restaurant but it was fun to make it at home as well so i want to do that again soon it's a fun little recipe idea for you and before we ate dinner we actually went on a little walk which was so nice it really is such a beautiful day and the sun the sun was setting when we went on our walk so I very much enjoyed that and then now I am just watching dream home on Netflix which is an interior design show with studio McGee who's a designer and it's really fun to watch I really enjoy it so just sipping on some peppermint tea and watching that and I forgot to tell you guys a little tidbit from my Aldi adventure so when I was in Aldi I had already filled up my cart quite a bit and I noticed that I didn't have my wallet with me so I was like oh shoot <laughs> this is inconvenient so I called Brandon because I thought I thought of a place where it probably is at our house so I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose it or like drop it in the parking lot so he checked to see if it was at our house and it was so that was good that I didn't lose it but then I was like oh no how am I gonna pay for my groceries and he said oh do they have Apple Pay and I had never used Apple Pay before but I asked them and they said yeah they ha we have Apple Pay and so I set that up in the store and I paid with Apple Pay which is actually so easy I might just start doing that more often because it's super convenient so that was good. I was able to buy the groceries, but that's why I didn't want to go to, you know, Publix or Target to do the rest of my grocery shopping today. So because I didn't have my license because it was in my wallet and I didn't want to keep driving around town without a license and then get pulled over and then get a ticket and all that stuff. So yeah, that's why I didn't do that, but I will go grocery shopping for the rest of our things we need tomorrow. So I'll take you guys along and I will see you in the morning. Hello friends, I am just enjoying some 
some leftover pad thai from our dinner last night for lunch. It's already one, oh no, it's only 12.30, which the day is going by quickly. I had a really nice morning. I published a video, so I was responding to comments and just working on some emails and computer work. And then I FaceTimed my friend from college who I love and miss dearly. So it was great to catch up with her and like see her face to face over FaceTime. And I also took down all of the lights from our Christmas tree, which there are so many pine needles on the ground. So I need to vacuum those up soon. As you guys can see, lots to clean up, but I am actually about to go run some errands. So finish up my grocery shopping from yesterday, pop into home goods to kind of try to find stuff on my home goods list and also probably go to Lowe's as well. So I'll take you along for our grocery shopping adventure continuation and the other errands as well. grocery shopping. I also ended up popping into home goods, but I didn't buy anything. So this is just a Target haul, a Target grocery haul for the most part. I did find some really other cute things that are non-grocery items. So I'll show you those as well. So we have some cold brew, some orange juice. We love this whole grain medley rice and quinoa mix. It's super, super flavorful and I like all the different textures of the grains. And then some rainbow quinoa, some eggs, spaghetti, coffee, dark chocolate, kombucha, of course. I don't think I've had this one before. It's called Grape Vibes, so we'll see how that tastes. And then just some soup that we can heat up in the microwave for quick lunches. And I also love these perfect bars for a quick little breakfast in the morning. And then some organic triple berry blend for smoothies, some cherry tomatoes, some French vinaigrette, blackberries, Half and half, Greek yogurt, blueberries, capers for a pasta I'm making, red pepper, jalapeno, green beans, a big thing of spinach. And then we have some buffalo cauliflower pizza. It's really yummy. Some cilantro, some romaine hearts. And then the non-food things. This is a pair of PJs for my sister-in-law for her birthday. They might not look like much, but they are seriously the softest PJs ever. So I think she'll really appreciate them. And then I also picked up these two cement pots with this little rope cord because I want to maybe potentially put them in our powder bath. So I already have some plants in here, but I don't necessarily want to keep them exactly how they are like that. But I think it'd be pretty to hang them from the ceiling in here, but we'll see. I'll play around with it and see if I want to keep them or not, but I just thought they were really neat looking. And I also went into Lowe's to grab more of these C hooks because this is what we used to hang the string lights in our backyard and we just need a couple more. So I just went in and grabbed that. I also got an Irish cream cold brew from Starbucks and it's really, really yummy, but I even asked for less sweetness. So half of the sweetness, but it still is quite sweet. So I just added some of our cold brew into it and that's what I did for Brandon's iced coffee as well. I just poured some of this and some cold brew just so that it's a bit more of the strong coffee flavor.
went on a beautiful bike ride this afternoon. Well, it was around 5 p.m., which is one of my favorite times of day, and today is just so beautiful. The weather was nice and crisp, and the sun was shining so brightly and so beautifully, and I was just able to listen to music and just kind of you know, think of everything I'm thankful for, which was so nice. And I really just feel like in those simple moments where you're just kind of in nature and just truly enjoying life and enjoying the day, I really just felt God's glory and goodness. So that was definitely good for the soul. And once I got home, I took a shower. So I'm in my PJs now. And then we took out our sweet Christmas tree, which is bittersweet, but it is kind of nice to have the sp space kind of all cleared out so I can start really decorating a bit more and kind of brainstorming about what I want to do. And it always kind of feels nice just to kind of clean up all the pine needles and make everything all tidy. So we did that. And now I'm about to cook dinner, which I was going to make that Cuban dish I told you about yesterday, but I'm actually going to make that tomorrow and that's the plan and tonight I'm just going to make one of my favorite recipes some Buddha bowls which is just a bunch of spinach sometimes I add some quinoa some hummus oh he scared me that's it's Brandon but he scared me because he was in the back door and then he was in the front door <laughs> Just had to make sure it was him. Um, but yeah, so it has hummus and then chickpeas. So I'm gonna kind of make my chickpeas nice and crunchy and bake them in the air fryer. And also just some tomatoes and any vegetables we have, which I have a whole Allison's Eats on my Buddha bowls. So I will link that in the description. So you guys, if you're looking for a yummy and healthy recipe, you can try that one out. So yeah, but that's it for this vlog. I'm just gonna have a relaxing night after that. I need to actually do some research about which window treatments I wanna get as well, because that's kind of been something I've been trying to figure out and just decide on. So that's the rest of the plan for the evening, but thank you guys so much for spending in the past couple of days with me and spending time with me i so appreciate you and cannot wait to see you super soon bye oh wait let's let's give brandon a chance to say bye he he's outside so he can't hear me say bye bye no bye say bye, bye. <laughs>